This video is a break from our usual topics to look at several new interesting AI tools for Unity. These could be helpful for our quest to create better humanoid AI characters and for Unity development in general. Unity currently has their own Unity AI tool in beta as part of the Unity 6.2 beta, but it's not the only AI tool for Unity, so we will compare a few. JetBrains offers many IDEs that are widely used for software development. Rider is JetBrains IDE for .NET development, including game engines like Unity, Unreal, and Godot. I use Rider all the time. JetBrains AI is integrated in JetBrains IDEs. Bezzy is a Unity AI development assistant. Bezzy is its own application, so it is not tightly integrated with the Unity editor or an IDE. I'm going to compare these three tools, trying to make this an apples to apples comparison by asking each to do some of the same tasks and seeing how they all do. Each of the three AI tools has some documentation in at least one YouTube tutorial. I put links in the description below. In each tutorial, there is a demonstration using some sample scene, but that doesn't make it easy to compare the tools to each other. To have an apples to apples comparison, I set up a single sample scene to run the same sample tests using each AI tool to see the differences in how well the tools perform. My test bed is going to include Unity 6.2 Beta. This is required for Unity AI and should be compatible with the other tools. Bezzy prefers Unity 2022, but claims to work with Unity 6. There did not seem to be any problem with that. The testbed will also include the latest version of JetBrains Rider and JetBrains AI. I will also load two assets from the Unity Asset Store. Polygon City from City Studios, which I have used in other videos, and the NPC Populator, which I developed myself. This table shows a list of AI capabilities for Unity. Uh, as we can see, Unity AI offers almost all of these. In this video, I'm not going to talk about the runtime AI, although I, a number of my other videos do focus on ML agents. We also see in the table that of these tools, only Unity AI offers the generators, which are quite interesting. They all have AI assistants with similar levels of capability. Actually, only Unity AI is able to directly modify the Unity scene, although Bezzy can generate a script and attach that to a menu, as we will see a little bit later on. Before we start trying some tests, here is a list of things that are similar among the AI assistants in Unity AI, JetBrains AI, and Bezzy. All of them are based on large language models. They all connect to a cloud to do their processing. Each tool, I believe, claims that the company involved is not training their AI using your, you know, their customers' projects and scripts. Don't take my word on that as the last word. I believe that that's the case. And I know there's a lot of sensitivity around whether our data is used for training. I believe that our data is not being used to train these AIs. Uh, you may want to check that if you are particularly concerned about that. And here are some of the key differences between the tools. A big difference is how each AI Assistant is integrated. Again, Unity AI integrated into the Unity Editor. JetBrains AI integrated into the Rider IDE. Bezzy is its own se separate application. So that impacts how directly the AI can make direct changes. Again, Unity AI has the generators, the others don't. The cost of the tools is different and we don't yet know what the cost of Unity AI will be because it's still in beta. Cost hasn't been announced yet. And as we will see in the next section, you know, the tools perform differently on the different tests that I gave them. 
The generators, and especially the animation generator, could be very interesting for humanoid AI. I'm going to leave that topic for a future video. To keep this video short, I have a recording of the experiments in a separate video, which you can watch if you want to see the details. A link to that video is in the description below. In this video, I will summarize some conclusions. Here is the list of experiments that I ran, which again, you can watch if you want in the separate experiments video. These are, of course, six experiments out of many, many that could be possible. Hopefully, they are a representative sample of different things we would hope AI could do. Here are my conclusions based on running the experiments. If you have questions about where these conclusions came from, please watch the experiments video. Let's keep in mind that Unity AI is still in beta and Bezzy's agent mode is still in beta, so these may improve before they go into general release. All the tools were able to answer questions about using Unity. And all the tools were able to generate scripts. Free tools like Google can do this also. Here's an example where I asked Google to generate a Unity script that rotates an object. The Unity-specific AI tools may be slightly better since they are more specifically trained on Unity documentation and code. Bezzy was the best at explaining code and assets. For the examples that I tried, Bezzy's answers were comprehensive and correct. Unity AI was a close second. Unity AI is the only one of the tools that is able to make changes to the scene directly based on AI prompts. This is a nice capability for building the environment and can be quicker and more fun than manually duplicating and manipulating game objects. Bezzy could do something similar by generating scripts and attaching them to the tools menu. I can imagine though that this could result in a proliferation of tools even though some of them were just one-time operations. I struggled with JetBrains AI. It would generate C++ scripts rather than C# -sharp scripts and claim that I asked it to, which I did not. JetBrain also allows a long list of large language models to be chosen, and I have no idea which of these I should choose and whether any of these have been trained for Unity specifically. JetBrains makes great IDEs, and I routinely use JetBrains Rider to edit code in Unity, but after these experiments, I felt that the other AI tools were more ready to just jump in and use compared with JetBrains AI. To create a complex system, I asked each AI to set up a human character that I could control with the keyboard. None of the AI tools were able to do this in an automated way. They each produced a partial solution and manual instructions for me to follow. We are a long way from AIs replacing expert developers, and we need to recognize where AIs get in the way rather than helping. A paper was published just recently that concluded that AIs can reduce the productivity of software developers by about 20% rather than increasing their productivity. I think this is an example of that. A keyboard controllable character is something that I can build very quickly. And in fact, I made a video a few years ago where I go through all the steps to set up a walking robot in less than 15 minutes. Working with any of the AIs to do the same thing would take me more time than that. Of course, price is a factor, and we don't yet know what the price will be for Unity AI once its beta period is over. And insofar as answering questions, the tools all compete with free search engines like Google. Unity AI is free during the beta period. Once it is released, inferencing will continue to be free, but there will be a point system for the assistant and the generators. For Bezzy, after an initial free trial, there are plans starting at $20 per month. That $20 would buy 500 credits per month that can be used for 500 queries. That would probably be plenty for most developers. JetBrains requires that you use one of their IDEs. That would be Rider for Unity development, which is free for non-commercial use. 
Limited AI is then available for free and more can be purchased starting at $10 per month. There is currently a public preview for JetBrains AI with Microsoft Visual Studio Code, which is free. The pricing for JetBrains AI in that configuration has not yet been released. So which tool would I use? I think the danger is real that an AI assistant could slow down rather than speed up development, especially for anything at all complex. For routine work, it would be nice to have the AI assistant from Unity AI or Bezzy to answer questions, but I would not overly rely on these as an alternative to reading documentation and knowing myself how everything works. In situations where I need to make sense of some complex code, especially if it were written by someone else, I would love to have Bezzy explain and summarize the code for me. And if I were building up an elaborate Unity scene, Unity's AI Assistant could make the process quicker and more fun. But the AI feature that I am personally most excited by is Unity's Animation Generator. It has great potential, but so far is missing some key capabilities to really be useful. I will make another video just on that. I hope this tool comparison video was useful. These tools are evolving quickly, and I'm looking forward to seeing what they will be like even just a few months from now. While making this video, someone told me about yet another Unity AI tool called NimbleFox. I may make another video on that one. I do plan to return soon to my main theme of humanoid AI in Unity after perhaps another video review or two. Please let me know what you thought of this video and the approach I took to separating out the long experiments into a separate video. If you like these videos, please do subscribe. Until next time.